We all know that type of player. The one who puts too much focus on pointless tech skill and forgets that there is more to the game than multi-shining and vanish gliding. The Marth who drops chain grabs on spaces but practices pivot F smashes. Well I am also that player. Hey guys, it's Zenith with hopefully the first in a series of tutorials I hope will help new players learn techniques in Super Smash Bros. Melee. As a quick disclaimer, I know my place in the skill spectrum of competitive play. I admittedly spend too much time learning techniques that won't benefit me when my fundamentals are weak. However, I am not trying to teach fundamentals and my lopsided training of tech actually provides me more knowledge on tech skill than I would have otherwise. If there is one good thing to come from grinding tech skill, hopefully this is it. Now there are many players out there in my situation, but there are also players out there with strong fundamentals who can benefit from learning techniques like this. As long as I can help one person out there, I'll be very happy. So without further ado, let's get right into the first technique I'd like to go over, which is one of my favorite techniques to use, Sheik's Vanish Glide. For the longest time, I didn't even know the proper name for this tech. I called it the Sheik Ledge Poof thing that I'd see M2K or CDK do. I am not a real Sheik player, so I can't say whether or not this is a better option than short hop needle pivoting or any other method to grab the ledge. But this does throw out a hitbox, so I assume at the worst, it can be a mix-up. It can be risky because if you mess up, it puts you in a vulnerable position or it might just kill you if you accidentally side B, but with enough practice it can be done safely. At the very least, it can be a cool technique that might get some comments when you do it in a friendly. People might go, oh cool, that's the Mewtwo King thing, right? And if that's what you're looking for, then you will also benefit from this video. I did struggle a lot trying to learn this technique until I learned this one trick. This all revolves around speed and quarter circles. If you know how to moonwalk in melee, it's actually pretty similar to that. If anyone wants, I can do a future moonwalking video, but the general idea of that tech is going from a walk animation to slamming the control stick in the other direction and quarter or half circling back to the original position from the bottom quickly. The vanish glide or chic ledge poof works in the same related way. First, walk or dash towards the ledge, anything to give momentum. As soon as you get there, slam the stick up. Now the important thing is as soon as the stick slams up, just as quickly, quarter circle the control stick in the direction away from that stage. So if you're on the left side of the stage, or, the left, or you're on the left ledge, then you want to go left, and if you're on the right, then you want to go right. This speedy movement from the top to the side is the key part of doing this tech. So above all else, make sure you have that on lock. This tech seems tough, but that's only because there are many variables that go into it, when really the hardest part of it is getting that movement really quick. The most common mistakes I'd run into practicing is not quarter circling fast enough and ending up jumping before I vanish or actually not putting in a proper up direction with the control stick and sliding off the stage with Sheik's chain. One way to avoid this is to make sure you're inputting a true up direction before even worrying about the speed of the quarter circle that will follow. The reason why this works is because your momentum carries you off the stage in your vanish, making it act as if you're in the air. Performing the vanish glide from different lengths of the ledge yields different speeds of grabbing the ledge, but learning closest to the ledge I felt makes it easier to learn. In the beginning, you'll probably run into the two most common mistakes you can do with this technique which is preemptively jumping and vanishing way above the ledge or not putting in a proper up input and sliding off with Sheik's side B. For this reason, I would recommend practicing on the ledge and temple. That way, even if you mess up and accidentally side B, you won't fall off and die and have to wait and respawn. Temple's middle of the stage ledge only has a right side, so after you get it on the right side, make sure you can also do it on the left side. The timings are the same for both, but it's just good to get the muscle memory down. I hope this video paints a clearer picture of what has to be done to perform Sheik's Vanish Glide. This video was really fun to make and I hope to make more in the future. If this helps anyone I'll be really happy so please if it helps let me know and I'll keep this up. If there's anything I can do to improve these videos or if you have anything to say in general also please let me know. If you enjoyed the video please consider like and subscribing. This has been Zenith with my first tutorial on Melee Tech signing off. Thanks for watching.